Uh, this is Tigger, and I'm going to let her down. She follows me all around the yard just like a dog. And she don't want you to hold her too long, but she'll follow me. Uh, real soon, I'm going to make two videos, and uh, one of them will be a, a second follow-up on going into this swarm that my son uh, hived. Y'all saw that. The second video, I'm not going to tell the, the title of it because if I do, somebody will steal it. Oh, they wouldn't do that. Yeah, they will too. But anyway, uh, so I hope to do that soon. It's a little cloudy today, so I'm not going to go into this hive and, and, and do that follow-up. Uh, uh, this video is uh, about uh, uh, the most asked questions. I get one, the most asked question on YouTube uh, uh, is why don't I wear protection? And so I'm going to try to devote time to this video to that. Uh, I'm Tim Durham uh, in uh, Durham's Bee Farm and uh, uh, y'all saw my son have this swarm and, and they ate him up. And, and, uh, uh, why, I don't know. And, you know, I got the bucket and finished it off, and, and I don't know, I really don't, there's a lot that people don't know about bees. Now, there's a lot of people that act like they know it all, but they don't. But, uh, I don't know if, if some people are more prone to get stung than other people. I don't know. But, uh, uh. First of all, uh, I, I encourage be, uh, beginners to wear protection because if you have a, a bad incident, you get stung real bad, that will turn you off. So wear, you wear protection. Uh, uh, there are times when I will wear a veil only, depending on their temperament. And uh, uh, there, there are some things you can do to help a situation and uh, with your smoker get a real thick white smoke now if you have several beehives in one place what I do and what you can do is uh, get that smoker going real thick white smoke and just smoke the air in the area around the bees okay then uh, We'll say the first two or three hives that you're going to go into, uh, smoke the entrance real good, smoke it under the top real good, and, and you can do this for the, for the next two or three hives that you're going to go into. Wait about a minute. Now, uh, when you go into your hive, uh, and now you can do this yourself. When, when, when the top is off and the, the inner cover is off, if you've got gloves on, if you move your hands slow and steady, observe the bees. Then, move your hand real quick like that across the top of the bees. And you will see those bees reacting to your fast movement. If it's cool weather, and you know, you shouldn't be going in your hive when it's cool anyway, but if it's cool weather, this top and the inner cover will be glued down hard. And so use a hive tool and pull it up gently. Uh, bees, uh, they cannot hear, but they feel, they feel vibration, okay? Uh, uh, there, there are situations where you, you, you must suit up completely uh, when beekeepers uh, I'm going to give you an example we go out to one of our yards and we have 25 to 30 hives in a yard and the honey flow has stopped that, that is to say there's, there's, there's not a lot of flowers blooming and they're not making honey so they've already made the honey they're going to make and now we go out to, to rob the honey we call, we call it pulling the honey or robbing the honey. 
you know what that means. It means taking the honey that I'm going to take. Uh, we'll say there's 25 or 30 hives, and, and you start pulling that honey, robbing it, uh, you better be suited up completely because by the time you get through half of those hives, I mean, they're going. They're ready to, to do battle. Another situation where you must suit up completely is if you take the bees out of the wall of a building. You must suit up a hundred percent, and uh, you will also learn about the habits of bees when you do that. Uh, uh, the first bees I took out of buildings, uh, houses. Uh, I didn't know I didn't know what to do. Uh, briefly, one important thing would be uh, have you a table, and when you find some of the best cat brood comb, and eggs and larvae would be good too. Uh, lay that on your table and lay your frame on top of it, and cut it out so it will fit inside your frame. Then you can get some thin wire or rubber bands and to hold it in place temporarily. Once you put that frame in your hive with rubber bands or thin wire holding that comb in position, uh, you can take the wire and rubber, rubber bands out the next day. Uh, they will attach that comb to that frame. So, and of course, uh, uh, you, you want to be... Be, be very careful uh, not to hurt any bees. Uh, you don't want you don't want to kill the queen, but that's always possible. Now another situation uh, where you need to be careful: <clears throat> if you have a swarm up high, we'll say 15, 20 feet up high, and you make you a pole, you can get some conduit that telescopes into each other. You can make you a pole that will reach up there, and the end of that pole. You bend it in a circle, and and you attach a pillowcase to it. Well, you can you can bump that limb, and those bees will fall into that pillowcase. And you have to let it down immediately, uh, 90 degrees, so they, they they won't fly out of that pillowcase. Now, I don't know what it is, but when you do that, it some makes them mad. So. Uh, when you bump them into a pillowcase like that, they'll come after you. So you better be suited up then. If you have any questions, uh, uh, shoot it to me on YouTube. And uh, don't wait too long now. I'm 73, but I, I, I try to answer every question, and, and I hope I help somebody. Have a good day.